see us working together, they are heartened because the impact is faster and bigger. We will also need to collaborate in the time ahead. The image that you see up there of Dubai Cares is in fact the launch of a $1 billion, 627 million euro project to fund education in 12 of the world's poorest countries. Phase one will see funding for Bangladesh, Bosnia, Chad, Maldives, Mauritania, Niger, Pakistan, other countries, Palestinian territories, Lebanon, Jordan. The money will be spent on new schools, redeveloping existing facilities, and providing medical services and drinking water. How can you learn if you are not healthy and you do not have clean water? Dubai Cares is a partnership among UNICEF and Save the Children. Save the Children will receive a 10.4 million euro grant for this program. And the first project will be primary education in Sudan. Dubai Cares is the largest charitable foundation solely devoted to improving primary education for children in developing countries. Dubai Cares is Dubai's contribution to the UN Millennium Development Goals for ensuring primary education to every child in the world by 2015. And from Italy, another unusual collaboration. Alessandro Benetton, United Colors of Benetton, is carrying on his family's decades-long commitment. So here's somebody who is well-versed in philanthropy. Their decades-long commitment to social activism and responsibility with a cutting-edge program in the developing world. If the partnership between Benetton, top executive of the family's iconic $3 billion Italian clothing empire, and Yusu Endur, Africa's most popular musical superstar and founder of Barima, a microcredit program bears fruit. Dakar may soon have more industry and fewer beggars. The Italian and African entrepreneurs are carrying out what has been described as Benetton's master vision, their dream of philanthropy and profit working together. And related to that story is one about Bill Gates, now enjoying what has been described as an encore career as head of his foundation at the annual World Conference, World Economic Forum in Davos. Gates called for a new creative capitalism that would harness both market forces and charity to help people living in poverty. The world is getting better, he said, but it's not getting better fast enough. And it's not getting better for everyone. We have to find a way to, make, to take the aspects of capitalism that serve wealthier people, serve poorer people as well. Of all the big dreamers who have made a mark on philanthropy, few have left as large an imprint as Bill Gates. We must hear what he is saying. He had the courage to stop programs that are not working. He stopped a malaria prevention program in Africa because it was not working. And everybody said, you can't do that. And he said, why would I keep doing a program that's not working? I will bring in a program that will work. Try something new. Be willing to take a risk.